Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome to a new Sims 4 spinoff series. I mentioned in the last episode that Joseph had started a business called Birdsong Builders right here in the Hort of Brindleton Bay. As you can see, the first room that you walk into is the sales area. The walls and the floors are lined with all sorts of knickknacks, little vintage treasures to make your home just absolutely charming. And then I showed you guys that through the French double doors leads into Joseph's office. And this is where the Hort of the business really takes place. What Joseph really does at Birdsong Builders <laughs> is he meets with clients who want their houses renovated and he does a complete and total renovation to really make it, you know, just their dream home. Obviously, this whole series is sort of modeled at just about every show on HGTV, which I am obsessed with. Let's see what Joseph is working on so late at night. It says he's playing Sims forever. Okay, this just got a little bit too meta. In the morning, Joseph is getting ready to meet his first ever client in Brindleton Bay and we will work on turning their house from flop to fabulous, honey. And I guess for now, Joseph's just gonna play The Sims Forever and make his Sims woohoo. That's kind of what I do when I'm not busy burning them down. Well, it's time to get a bright and early start and to meet Joseph's first client. Justin Maples has just moved to Brindleton Bay and he chose to live in this sort of little cat scratch cottage, I think is what it's called. Cat scratch cottage, is that what I called it? That's what it's called, honeys. Let's go knock on the door. I really hope he's home because uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do if he's not. I guess we're gonna break in and remodel his home. Is he sleeping or is he on the computer. Oh, look, it's Justin Maples. Perhaps modeled after another Justin in my life. Who's to say? I am seeing why they call this the Cat Scratch Cottage. Wait, did Nina Caliente just roll up in here? What is she doing here? It says she's about to introduce herself to a dog. Nina, you have lost your goddamn mind, but if you want to help, that's fine with me. Joseph, you need to not sit on Justin's couch and you need to go and introduce yourself to him. Let's do a flirty introduction. I'm sensing that maybe on this very first renovation project, maybe Maybe some love might be in the air. So Joseph is sort of getting a feel of the layout of this house. It looks very outdated. Definitely see the cat scratch cottage bit. Cat decorations everywhere. There's this huge like cat apartment tower in the living room. Oh, and they are having just a lovely chat. Oh, a suggestive conversation. Okay, Joseph, why don't you go ahead and compliment his appearance as you not compliment his house because it's hideous. Did Nina leave? Okay, she's just gonna sashay away. Is Piggy here? It says Piggy's here. Piggy is just apparently sleeping next to this hot dog person on the beach. I'm more interested on what's going on in the house. You know, we're gonna ask if Justin's single. Just like, hey, do you need a one bedroom or a two bedroom? Are there any kids? What's the situation? Oh yeah, this is going well. This renovation is going very well. Wait, they can already have their first kiss? They match that well together? Oh my goodness. Well, just, you know, you know, art imitates life. Life imitates art. Who knows? I do love this exposure. To brick, I will say that. But now that we've met the client and we've sort of got a feel of his tragic house, let's have a little bit of a conversation with Justin about what he wants this place to look like. Oh yeah, they're talking about physics now. Particle, particle, quantum equations, quantum physics, you name it, honey. They can talk about anything. I do believe, however, Joseph finally has a plan for this little cottage. So let's have a chat about what we want to do here. This cute cabin in the woods is in a great location, but it kind of looks like someone might have been murdered in it. Luckily, the outside at least is mostly cosmetic. We're going to replace the brick and siding with something that'll give the house a more Pacific Northwestern feel. Completely redo the side yard and make it more functional or possibly a sunroom and then just do a bit of landscaping. The first floor is a bit of a mess. A lot of these walls are gonna be torn down that are making it seem small and dark. The carpet and tile look like they belong in a murder scene, so we're gonna do some hardwood throughout, update these appliances that it looks like someone peed on, potentially relocate the stairs to a more practical location, and honey, if we burn some sage in here, it might just turn out okay. The top floor has a nice size master bedroom that hopefully we can make a bit more private when we move those stairs and get rid of the balcony. That will also give us room to expand the master bathroom and freshen it up. So everything should, in theory, go pretty smoothly unless we find a body underneath the floorboards or something. How does that sound, Justin? Let's talk about this. Let's exchange numbers. For business purposes, honey, just for business purposes. Get those digits, queen. Yes, queen, get those digits. Okay, I think these two have had enough for right now. Piggy is barking at them. Piggy, you need a bath, you little stinker. Look at you. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get started on this renovation.
Well, that turned out to be a ding-dong doozy of a restoration. Initially, I said the outside was just gonna be a simple project. We were just gonna change some siding and brick. I ended up completely reconstructing the entire outside of the place. After I got started on it, I just realized I wasn't gonna be able to get that Pacific Northwestern cabin-y in the woods feel unless I just basically tore down the roof and everything else. I also completely demolished that horrible, tiny, useless side yard, and I replaced it with an outdoor dining pad. The ground floor was just way too small to have any sort of formal dining room, so I decided to move their dining room to the great outdoors. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled a little bit with the main floor. I did want it to be mostly whites and neutral colors, but I soon realized that it was gonna need some pops of colors too. So the living room, everything, as you can see, was completely demolished and replaced, and now you've got this nice, calming white and blue and black living area. Now a whole lot more open concept. It flows right right into the kitchen, white cabinets everywhere, some updated black and white appliances. I did say I really loved that exposed brick wall, but I ended up moving that to the kitchen walls. And I also ended up completely replacing the fireplace and adding a nice rustic table and a little chalkboard by the door to make it just, you know, feel a little homey. If you remember, there was also originally a bathroom on the first floor. I quickly realized there just was not gonna be room for there to be one at all. This is just a one person home, so really the bathroom on the second floor is plenty. Speaking of the second floor, I closed in the balcony and I moved the staircase over there to kind of open up the room altogether. And up here, y'all, I just went absolutely crazy with the shiplap on the walls. At first I was like, Joseph, let's reel it in. Let's only do shiplap on one wall. But you know what? All the walls are shiplap, okay? That's how you know I watch HGTV. Up here, I also ended up adding some blues and some reds to sort of balance out the white walls and the brown floor. And in this house, there's not really a lot of room for wall art because this house does have a lot of windows, which I loved. I wanted to keep those for the inside and the outside aesthetic. So wherever I could, I tried to add a little something on the walls. I hated doing this bathroom. I'm just gonna say it. I hated every second of it. There really just wasn't enough room for any cabinets of any sort. So I ended up doing a freestanding pedestal sink and I completely covered up those windows with mirrors because there needed to be a mirror over the vanity. But I also embellished it with these nice nice little lights on the mirror. Initially, I completely forgot about the toilet. I completely forgot about pooping. I'm gay, of course, so I don't poop. But then I remembered other people in the world poop, so I put in a toilet. After all was said and done, I had a little bit of extra area, so I just made a walk-in closet. All in all, this renovation took me about four-ish hours, which I think is pretty good. I struggled getting started on it, but then I, I ramped it up and I gained that momentum. But what really matters is what our client thinks. So let's go show this house to Justin and see what he thinks. Well, first thing I gotta say, y'all, is the house looks amazing in the Bridgleton Bay skyline, which is, you know, not the, not the biggest skyline, but it looks amazing. Adds a nice touch. We're gonna travel onto it, see what Justin thinks. Oh, hey, Justin. It certainly looks like Justin is making himself at home so far. Oh, my God, and Joseph automatically gets a little kiss. I think it's safe to say he loves it from flop to fabulous, fabulous for sure. Why is Nina Caliente coming back into the house, though? Nina Caliente apparently is is feeling a little left out because she didn't get her own show. So she's just going to try to show up in every single scene from now on, I guess. I'm not entirely sure why with all of this fabulous new furniture, Justin has decided to sit on this ottoman. But you know what? It's his house now. He can do whatever the hell he wants to in it. I think just about the only thing that would make this moment better would be if Nina was not here wandering around and being a creep. Well, I think that it's time that Joseph and Justin go explore the bedroom together. There they go into the pajamas and into the new bed. Let's break this baby in. Oh, y'all, I think it's safe to say this first episode of fl Flop to Fabulous. I don't even know the name of my own show. I think it's safe to say it went really well. It looks like Joseph has uh, pleased his client in more ways than one. And I guess that concludes the first ever episode of Flop to Fabulous. Perhaps Justin will show up as a regular in some of my other Sims Floor series. Nina just came upstairs to just read a book on the bed now. Thank you, guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying the Sims 4 series, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.